guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a summer bronzy gold look. Um, it's perfect for summer, it's very luminous, shimmery, nothing heavy, and if you'd like to see how you get this look, just keep watching. Alright, so I've already primed and moisturized my face with my Maybelline Baby Skin and my Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Facial Moisturizer. And the first thing I'm going to do is take my L'Oreal Youth Code BB Cream just for an added glow. This is the, this has like a a dewy effect to it, like a luminous effect. And next what I'm going to do is take my Beauty Blender and my L'Oreal True Match, the Lumi, and just put a little bit of that on there. And go ahead and blend that all in. This is definitely going to be a very luminous summer look. And the next thing I'm going to do is conceal my under eyes. And for this, I really like my NYX HD concealer. And I believe this might be the lightest shade. I think the shade is rubbed off, but it's the li I think it's the lightest shade that they have. Um, and this stuff is great. I'm almost out and I need to buy a new tube. And it's fairly inexpensive. And it works fantastic. It's really similar to the, um, oh, what's it called? The NARS, um, what's the NARS concealer? I can't think of what it's called. I think the Radiant Creamy, or I can't think of what it's called. But it's, it's like, oh my gosh, it works so great. Um, the only downfall to this product is it doesn't seem to last very long. Almost like you don't get a whole lot of product in here. But for the price and for the way it works, I'll take it. And so from there, I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match concealer. And this I like to use for blemishes, if I have any, or dark spots, just because it's a little bit of a darker shade, so it'll blend in with my skin tone better, better rather than, uh, rather than a lighter shade, which will just make your blemish stick out more because it doesn't match your skin tone. So, and this stuff is a really great product too. It uh, blends out really easy. Let me 
zoom you guys in slightly. There we go, so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Okay. Okay, so from there, I don't like to powder my face right away. I like to let my foundation and concealer set slightly just because it can get really cakey and look a mess if you don't do that. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is prime my eyes. And for priming my eyes, I usually use my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, but today I'm just going to go ahead and use my uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Branded. This is like a really pretty light champagne-y color. Um, it's really similar to the MAC Paint Pots, but I feel like these set up a lot faster so they can be slightly harder to work with, but not too bad. Okay, so for our eyes, since we're going for a really bronzy, summer, shimmery look, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Infallible Shadow in Amber Rush. This shade is so pretty. I can do it without anything falling out. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's got a really high shimmer to it, but for summer, it's perfect. So we're just kind of, I'm going to kind of take a really big shader brush and just tap it all over my lid. If it goes up into the crease slightly, that's okay. Other eye. This is just such a pretty color. It's perfect for summer. It's just like, it's almost like a uh, rose gold color. And it's perfect. Okay, so once you have that down, what I'm going to do is take a crease brush and work my favorite color of all time. Work Naked 2 from the Naked Basics palette into my crease. This is like the all-time perfect <clears throat> crease or transition color. And then once we have our crease color down, I'm just going to blend it out with a big fluffy brush just so there's no harsh lines. Okay. And since our lid color is so shimmery for a highlight, I'm just going to do a matte highlight. And for my highlight, I'm going to take a mix of WOS and Foxy. One's a more pink shade and one's a more yellow tone. And mix together, they're perfect for a highlight. And just kind of tap that on under the brow. And then put a little in the inner corner. And if you want to put a little bit of a shimmery inner corner, you can do that. That's not, I don't think that'll be too much. Just because our lid is shimmery right there also. Okay. And once again, I'm going to go back in with a blending brush and just blend where they come together just slightly. Okay, and from there, just to deepen up my outer V a little bit, I'm going to take my original Naked palette and I'm going to use Smog. Just a really pretty lighter, shimmery brown. And tap that off, we don't want too much. 
and we're just going to work it into the outer V slightly. This will just give you a little bit more dimension. And then right in the middle of our lid, what I like to do, <clears throat> and you can go back and just take your highlight brush, is take a little bit of that gold shade, half-baked, and place that just right there in the middle of the lid. I think gold, this gold and that like rose gold shade and that infallible shadow work really well together. And I think gold is just really pretty for summer. <clears throat> All right, and then for the lower lash line, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of a little bit of that Naked 2 color and a really small smudge brush and just smudge that into the outer half of our lower lash line. This will just deepen up the look on the outer part of your eye instead of using like a really bright shadow back there. Okay, and then you'll have a choice of, you can either just take the gold shade or that amber rush shade for the inner half. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the gold shade. Or you could do both, you could do a mixture and just pop that right there in the inner half of your lower lash line. And this really gives a really pretty brightening effect. And the next thing I'm going to do is take my CoverGirl Bombshell Eyeliner. This stuff is amazing. It's really great for beginners because it's so short you have a lot of control over it. And I'm just going to do not a super heavy line of eyeliner. And just... work that okay so next I'm going to do my brows and for my brows, I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics Brow Power. And this is in universal, universal Taupe, I believe. So first, I'm just going to take the spoolie side and brush my brows out. I have very unruly brows, so bear with me here. And I like to brush upward, just to give them a little bit more of a fuller effect. And then I'm going to take the actual pencil side and just using small strokes fill in the front here very lightly And now I'm going to go back and go ahead and curl my eyelashes. Okay. 
All right. And then for mascara, I'm going to go ahead and use my CoverGirl Bombshell. And then once we have the eyes done, I'm going to go ahead and go back and powder my face. <clears throat> and I'm going to use my Dream Wonder Powder from Maybelline. Love this stuff. And I'm just going to use an e.l.f. powder brush. Tap it off. This powder works just as well as a high-end powder. It's super finely milled, so... And in summertime, especially since we're doing such a luminous face with the BB cream and uh, foundation, we really need to use it. You really need to use a powder. You don't have to, but I like to, just so I don't look crazy oily or anything like that. And you'll still see a lot of that luminous effect come through, so. Okay. Now for contour, I'm not going to um, like super contour my cheekbones or anything. I'm just going to use a fluffy brush and the bronzer I'm using is my NYC Sun Bronze and this shade is in Montauk Bronze. And I believe Casey Holmes reviewed this and I decided to go pick it up and I really really like it. It's a really pretty shade. For blush, I'm going to use my NYX, this is my new favorite blush, NYX blush in Pinched. And this is a really pretty pink coral shade and it does have a slight sheen to it, but that's, I think that's going to be like really pretty for summer, so. And smile, right on the apples of your cheeks. And I really like to, t I know a lot of girls don't, but I really like to take my blush up toward my temples. I'm a blush girl, so. But see how it gives off that really pretty sheen? I really like this blush. It's a super pretty shade. It's not too heavy or too dark or crazy for summer, so. Although my lighting right there makes it look crazy. And then for highlight, I'm going to go ahead and use my Benefits Watts Up. This stuff is extreme. I don't know if I've ever used a prettier highlight. I'm just right there, and a little bit right here. And for this, what I like to do is take my Real Tex Techniques stippling brush, and it really blends it out nice. So from there what I'm going to do is take my powder brush one more time and just kind of give it a really nice blended effect. Clearly the key here is blending. And for my lips, what I'm going to do for summer, just to give, I don't want anything too dark or too harsh. So I'm going to take my Milani lipstick and this shade is in Rose Hip number 14. and excuse the mess of a lipstick this would be my daughter and just tap it I don't like nothing I don't want it to be crazy just something really the 
this stuff is so pigmented. I mean, I barely put two taps on there. And it gave it a really pretty color. And then I'm going to top that off with my NYX Butter Gloss in Strawberry Parfait. These are probably the most amazing lip glosses ever. And that is it. Let me zoom you guys out here. And that is our summery bronzy gold look. So there you guys have it. My bronzy gold summer look. I think it's really simple, really pretty, and nothing too heavy for summer, and very luminous. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below on other types of videos or looks you'd like to see, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!